let's now talk about the dimension so how to make a dimension in AutoCAD so it is very simple and here we'll talk about uh, seven types of dimension so we'll talk about the horizontal vertical aligned angular radius diameters and the leader node let's see how to make a dimension so how to make a dimension in your drone so we we know already how to make a line right from uh, the others lesson to the parts so here uh, let's just make here a line select the command select one point and then also other point and then remove up so if you want to make with the angle for instance let's see here we'll make uh, 175 the distance and then just go to the tab and then specify the angle let's see i put uh, let's see 65 for instance and then give enter so we have here like two line if you want to make one more line let's just here make right so this one go like that and then go up and then enter so we have these two line and uh, we we want to make here dimension the first one we want to start is the horizontal line so how to make the horizontal line to get the access for the dimension command, you have two options. The first one is from the tab, from the tab, you have this section called annotation. From here, you can get the access to all type, all the the most used dimension. So if you you come here and then click, you will see the power dimensional, aligned, horizontal, vertical, angular, the radius, the meters, and also will also have one which is the letters leaders not dimension now the other option is by coming to the tab called annotate come here to this tab click and then you will see in the panel all type of dimension from here so here is a more complete in terms of all one so and uh, you will see also here is all the type of the dimension you will also to see the rest by just click there so that's the way you get the access to the dimension or if you know you can just uh, type dimension right for instance uh, dimension but here will be kind of you need to put like horizontal dimension and then it is here so the dimension horizontal you have all the three options to get the access to the dimension tool let's here start with the first one which is horizontal dimension you need to get the access to the command called horizontal in the annotate or from home tab here you will get annotation and then also you can get from here right goes to click horizontal once the command is activated you need to select two points you're gonna select the first point and the second point second end and then you can just move up or down or just here move down so once it is complete and then just come here close if you want to make one more something here and then here right then up or down and then close or just give enter okay now let's suppose that uh, i want to make also from this vertical see what happens there and then here nothing happened right why because we are in the horizontal for that we need to use a different command in this case i need to es key to the activate and then choose a different command called vertical come here because you see that he made the dimension if if i zoom will be zero right so this one here is zero because is zero because in the horizontal i only have one point that's why it is considered to be zero let's just here go back to make the vertical one we need to go to the command called vertical as well in the annotation or going to the annotate tab come here vertical select now here i'm gonna come here to this point so right the first point and then the second point and then just come here you you get so it is complete right and then just close then enter or deselect so we have here done the vertical one okay let's suppose that we want also to make here this one but if we try to use as well vertical here 
will get the wrong dimension okay so it will try to dimension but see what happens so it will just put the vertical you know of this one not the actual size of this line so we want to to know what is the actual size of this line for that we also have a different command called let's just here uh, cancel and then call the aligns come here goes to the aligns okay and then we can make the dimension here right from this point to this point now we have the actual size for this one here okay and then just come here right and then we can as well close so we have the dimension but one thing you notice is that i made all the dimension let's just here um, make also one more called the angular dimension the angular dimension is to measure the 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 angle you know for instance here to this two point let's just come here right then call the angular dimension this point then we need to select the two parts as you can see here specify the first part and then so the second part then now you can make your your angle right and uh, one thing about this uh, tool you can make the angle in different sides for instance here come here right to this point this point and then, and then we can make from this point to the back right which is also also here to this point and also there so you can make in a different position you can make the, the angle in different position like the, to this point to this one there and there so just here shoes also here right okay one thing you notice here is that the number of my dimension it is so tiny it is so small that i cannot see so how to change how to scale that so to scale the dimension the number of your dimension you just go to the shortcut just type in your workspace d and find out the dimensional style click there and from here you will go to modify right and then from here you will go to the fit goes to the fit click fit and then here so you have the scale so right now the scale is one let's say here change let's put uh, for instance eight and then go click ok and then close you'll see that it also change right the scale of your dimension and right now it is more visible so if it is like too big the same thing just go there again and then you can also like uh, change right modify and then go to the fit so here let, 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 let's put uh, four and then click ok and then close so it will also decrease so now it is better so that's the way you make the dimension and now we just talk about uh, four uh, of them which is uh, horizontal vertical aligned and angular so still uh, miss uh, the one which is radius diameter and the node for that let's just here goes to the one of the practice that we have already uh, done this one here so we have done uh, this uh, drawing let's see how to make this uh, dimension i will just here minimize a little bit okay let's now here follow according to what is here and for that let's here start with the the, the one here which is angular the same thing we can also get the access going to the tab called annotate and then here we'll just get the angular and then we're gonna make from uh, this point to that point then we can move up okay done then you can just type enter if you want to continue just come here to this point to that point as well then you can just put there right done do we have more angle no we don't have and then just close this this feature just type enter twice now the the next one we want also to to do will be this distance of 60 and also this one here so here as we learned it is aligned goes to aligned this one here like lines and then click from uh, this point from this center to this center and then just move like that okay you can see you can see here that we we get like 60 okay that's what we want and then give enter uh, if you have one more you can just continue so we have also another aligns which is here from this point to that point right and then so like that click so we have here 10 exactly the way it is there right so we have 60 and then 10 we use 
aligns and then uh, let's go and then just type enter twice to deselect the command the other one we want also here is uh, this radius 17 for that you goes to the radius so here is here this is called the radius click there do it and then select the one you want to measure like this one here so it will come here and then you just specify right like that and then click so that's the way we do and then also again enter if you have one more edu radius it will be still on yes we have with this one here right not that to move that as we learned in the beginning just press down the wheel in your mouse and then you can move you know and the hold press down and the hold then you can move your mouse so we have learned that in the first uh, parts of this uh, training okay let's now here go in the continue we also have this 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 arc here right this this one 18 and then just click there so we are here having the right uh, size do we have more radio no now let's get type enter twice to deselect now let's go to the other one which is a uh, diameter diameter just come here click there and then uh, select so we have this one here so outside select the the sequel and then just move away like that and then you can just click so we have the 20 and then just give enter if you have one more we have this one, the one from inside like this one here so you can put outside or inside let's put here inside like that and then click so it is there and then we also have uh, one more which is this one here the last one and then you can just move or inside as well or outside for this one just put here outside then click so that the way we make the dimension but this is here one thing that this one here was done not in the right way why because if you see very well we have uh, four sequel with the same dimension and also four sequel with same dimension so inside and outside so there is um, the right way to make that which is called the leader knot this one here so wh where we will specify how many radius we have with the same dimension to do that we're gonna just come here to this leader knot activate the command select where you want to measure like this one here inside and then click there and then just click and then position the the position of where you will put the knot like that and then click and then just give enter when you give enter, so we'll automatically give the space for you to write so we have four of that one so we're going here like four you can just put times or off some some put off and some put time we'll put here times times and then put the symbol which is uh, the meter which is not here click here okay or you can also a uh, shortcut put two percent twice and then c will also give you the diameter then put the number which is 20 okay and then close so that's the right way to do this one here so instead of having this one here we just here delete this one right so that's the way it should be so you have to define the four sequel with 20 diameter the same thing happened with this one here outside we're gonna do the same thing come here to delete the knot select this one here right and then you just define where you want and then this also like that to this position okay done and then enter now we can also define here so we have uh, here four times or can or four off right four off radius just type radius 18 and then close so that way we should do the right way this one here so now uh, the designer will understand that okay so i i need to make four sequel of radius 18 where the, the, the sequel for from the drawing you can understand that uh, it is all, also the other one so that's the way we should do and that's the end of this part which is the part of the 2d and we should like make more practice and we'll just move on to the next part which is the isometric let's now talk about the isometric drawing we'll start with the introduction